my first time riding a roller coaster was in the United States. Last year, with my mom and dad, my wife, but I'm afraid of high. I was looking at the roller coaster and I told myself, don't get scared, start yelling whenever you get there, you can do it. When I realized that the thing goes up with you facing the sky, I asked myself, what did you do? So when I got to the top and I saw the fall, I closed my eyes. That's like, yeah, that's a fantasy for us. We don't have theme parks in Venezuela. I think um, all the Venezuelan players got to experience this two lives. I'm living my dream, but I wish I could be in Venezuela right now. But you just can't, you just can't. Venezuela right now is not a safe place to be. And it's really hard because you grow up in your country and you want to be happy in your country, but it's not safe. So I decided just to go there for a few days, visit my whole family, and then turning back to the United States. After a long season, I just need to be somewhere where everything's kind of slow, calm, and you find your peace. As a kid, my grandpa used to work in a, in a farm. And I just fell in love with the horses and the cows and all the nature. Say hi, girl. Huh? You made new people. Well, right now I don't need to buy any horse because I get to ride Victor horses. ¿Cómo se llama la tuya, Víctor? Ella es la mona. La mona. This is la mona. When I met Víctor, and Víctor brought me to this ranch, that was like the whole new world for me. There's you with the nature, listening to the wind, to the animals, and that's priceless for me. ¿Qué fue, Japay? ¿Cómo está usted, Japay? ¡Oh, bebo! When you're spending time with Venezuelans, it feels like to be home. We're coming from the same hometown, from Venezuela, from my mom's side. And, he came uh, to me, sir, can I please have an No, 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 I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> I just talked to Jose that Victor was one of my, my favorite players like that I, that I look up to. So we, we got to spend uh, a lot of time together, here in the ranch, in his house, in my house. Once I realized that I was a professional player, I knew that I was going to spend more time out of Venezuela than in Venezuela. Victor uh, way more time living in the United States than, than I do. And if you have to ask somebody for help away from your dad and mom, I can go to Victor. I mean, 39 years old, he was still playing. To play 66 years in the big leagues, you have to do the right things. Cuidarle sus piernas, porque todo el béisbol depende de las piernas. Si no hay piernas, Okay, no sé si, yo no sé qué haría yo si algún día me iba a mover de ahí. De... No, que todavía, no, todavía, no, todavía te queda gasolina. No, tienes sí, claro, que 26 claro, años. No, estamos empezando, eh, pero... Tienes 26 coño. años. Sí. No, Dentro de que, 8 años te va a probar. Ahora es que te queda bueno, gasolina. Bueno. Después vas a decir, coño, no, ah, qué va, no quiero más para allá atrás, vas a decir. Es una bazuca que tiene de brazo, chaval. ¿Qué hace de brazo? Este, este sí. Lo único es que si, si tuviera el bate mío, coño, fuera completo. Ah, no, no, imagínate, pero es que eso. I want to be here, I want to live in the United States. I think it's a great country. It became my second home. A lot of people were asking me about my emotions. Why do I show my emotions so much? 
It took me seven years to get to the big leagues. Every time that I play, I just thought to myself, you made it, you did it. I wish what I did today, I could do it down in Venezuela, if it was safe enough. But I have the faith that Venezuela is going to get on track like it was before, and I can get something there, like a farm with my horses, but to enjoy with my family. So that's why my emotions are going to be there every single day. Did you enjoy that video? Make sure you check out these other great videos. Hey, Cup fans, don't forget to click. Come and follow me, Sam. Make sure you subscribe.